Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this month for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. Please kneel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts as the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us a grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us, San Lorenzo Ruiz, 
pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santa Domingo de Guzman, pray for us.
Please stand. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung on mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we continue to praise and thank God. But most especially, we also listen to the words of Jesus giving us everlasting life. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the devotion of your youth. How you loved me as a bride. Following me in the desert in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume to partake of them, evil would befall them, says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage lost some. The priest asked not, where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed at this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror, says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you is the fountain of life 
O Lord. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. O Lord, your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountains of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God, the children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house. From your delightful stream, you give them to drink. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your life, we see light. Keep up your mercy toward your friends. Your just defense of the upright of heart. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. We call mo upon na kikiliga ko sa iyong Mga salita, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <laughs> the disciples approached Jesus and said, why do you speak to the crowds in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has more, to anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah prophesy, or prophecy is filled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but do not understand. You shall indeed look but never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and be converted and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many people and prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sabi po sa atin ng atin pong gospel, Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Ano po ang sinasabi ni Jesus dito? Kapag tayo po ay nakikinig sa salita ng Diyos, at kapag nakikita po natin ang presensya ng Diyos sa atin pong buhay, then we are blessed. No? Yan po ang ibig niyang sabihin. Marami po kasi sa atin ang blessedness ay o yung pagiging ikaw ay maraming blessing ay kapag marami kang pera or kapag ikaw ay maraming blessing kapag marami kang kayamanan no or marami kang blessing kapag marami kang ari-arian but today Jesus tells us na Ang pagiging bless ay kapag ikaw ay marunong makinig sa Diyos at kung marunong kang tumingin sa paligid mo na nakikita mo ang presensya ng Diyos. 
Di ba, nung bata po tayo, sinasabi sa atin ng ating magulang, huwag kang kukupit ha, kasi nakikita yan ng Diyos. Di ba? Yan po yung sinasabi sa atin nung bata tayo. Bakit? Kasi naniniwala tayo na God is present. No? Nakikita ng Diyos ang ginagawa natin. Kaya anong mangyayari? Hindi tayo nagnanakaw. Hindi tayo nagkukupit. Kasi we believe in the presence of God. Pero nung tumanda-tanda na po tayo, nakalimutan na natin ramdamin ang presensya ng Diyos. No? Kaya kahit sa sa broad daylight, no? Sa kahit po ang tirik ng araw, gumagawa na tayo ng kasalanan. Nakalimutan na natin ang presensya ng Diyos. So these are the two things that Jesus is reminding us. We are blessed when we listen to God. We are blessed when we feel His presence. No? Yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating pong gospel. Kagaya po ni Santa Maria. Di ba? Si Blessed Virgin Mary po, hindi naman niya naintindihan kung anong nangyayari sa kanyang buhay. Pero nakinig po siya sa sinabi ng Diyos through the angel. Di ba? And at the same time, nakita niya ang presensya ng Diyos no? sa kanyang pagsisilbi, sa kanyang anak na si Jesus. So today, this is the reminder for all of us na sana po tayo din po parating makinig sa salita ng Diyos. Kasi ang Diyos, hindi po niya tayo ipapahamak. No? Ang salita ng Diyos will lead us to what is good. No? Ididirect po niya tayo kung saan mabuti. And at the same time, let us always feel the presence of God. Hindi lamang po sa loob ng simbahan, kung hindi sa lahat po ng lugar. No? We feel the presence of God. No? Para tayo din po ay maramdaman natin ang presensya ng Diyos at makita po natin kung paano tayo umasta o paano ang ating galaw kasi alam natin na kasama natin ang Diyos. This is what the gospel reminds us today. Blessed are you or blessed are your ears when they hear and listen to the words of God. And blessed are your eyes kapag nakikita natin ang presensya ng Diyos sa bawat isa. Amen. Please stand. Christ teaches us through the parables. Christ is the sower of the seed of the words of God. Let us respond to His word by praying to the Father, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy life, happiness, and peace in heaven, and may those burdened with grief be strengthened by God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in your service and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ang alay 
Sisters and brothers, and the sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit to the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy door for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trust as as we forgive those who dress us against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
love of God you take away the sins of the world. Oh, us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your sins I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. What have we to offer that does not the widow can the world ever satisfy the emptiness in our hearts in vain we deny in him alone is our home in him is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And with Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you 
Let us pray the prayer before our crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. They know the rest, Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 